Uh, we do a lot of uh, photogrammetry scanning. Things that we can talk about are uh, Spider-Man for PS4, scanned all the heads for. Uh, we also did scans for Long Shot Homecoming. This is my, my first experience with the Esper light stage. We've used a lot of Esper products in the past, uh, Esper powers, Esper triggers, which have worked fantastic with our rigs. We're very excited to see exactly how we can incorporate this in our workflow. It's 20 camera setup, 16 2000Ds to basically get the rough base. And then we have three projection cameras of the 7Ds to project all the different lighting patterns under the geometry. What we are traditionally used to is using a series of strobes, which is just a pop flash. Whereas in this light stage rig, we get very, very fast flashes, a lot more information, a lot of image data that we normally wouldn't be able to get as far as specular maps, uh, straight diffuse map, reflection map, and uh, normal maps. A few different things, testing heads, testing hands, the speed of the whole system, the speed of the cameras as well, make sure the sync of the lights and the cameras are um, consistent with a multi-camera setup, which has all been great. Everything is fully manageable. Uh, keeping your eyes open for the whole time. Some of the software is actually very easy to use. You know, I'm not a programmer, and I was able to pick it up in a few seconds. Uh, we'll go in and process it, try to get all the images aligned. And once we do that, we'll be able to uh, take all the images, reproject on the geometry, and be able to kick out a uh, normal map. I think having a multi-directional lighting setup is definitely a change from what we're using with just uh, strobes. This is going to basically take our data to the next level.